called this press conference and asked Olivia and Zane and Mr. Mayran to join us because we believe that the most important message in this election is that the future of our democracy is up to us. Today, Student Vote invites every school in Canada to join us in this election. Here in Canada, we sometimes take rights for granted. But countries around the world, people struggle for democracy and the right to vote. One of the reasons I'm here today is because I believe young Canadians can make a significant contribution to Canada's democracy. I think it, it really is a vicious cycle because politicians know that students are less likely to vote. In 2008, we had 37% of people aged 18 to 24 who voted. And because there's not a lot of young people who vote, there's no need to speak to that demographic. There's no need to put things in their platforms that they know students want. Youth should definitely care about politics because there are so many things that do affect them. I'm going to university next year and I'm looking at housing in different parts of Canada and I mean taxes increasing or decreasing are going to affect me and I know that there are a lot of different um, reasons why youth need to be involved but primarily because a lot of these issues do affect them. And if you don't cast a ballot you won't be heard and nobody will be paying attention likely. So the best way to make sure that the issues that matters to uh, young people are addressed by the government of the day is that they again exercise their, French, their franchise and uh, cast their ballot. People aged 18 to 24 voted in the same proportion that people who are senior citizens vote. There would be 800,000 more ballots cast. And that would have a profound impact on who our next Prime Minister is. Over the next 27 days, hundreds of thousands of students under the voting age will study our democratic process, examine the political parties, and meet face to face with the candidates of their electoral district. These students will go classroom to classroom, educating and engaging their peers in election issues. I know that in my school, if kids have an opportunity to do anything hands-on, they love it. They can get out of class, they can do this voting, um, and they also get involved in politics at the same time. They will come to understand, value, and appreciate their democracy, not because they studied about it, but because they experienced it firsthand. It gives me a chance to talk about it with my friends, talk about it in my school, and make it so that when the entire world, or all of Canada, is talking about the federal election, we get to be engaged in the process as well. My sister's 11, and she was so excited to be voting. Um, the secondary school students came back saying that you know it was a really good experience, and I've had emails in the past couple of weeks saying, hey, are we doing student vote again because the federal elections are coming up uh, from students? And my school is registered this time around, and I'm really excited to be participating. In the last federal election, 503,000 students cast a student vote ballot on their local candidates.